Welcome to Wings Over the Rockies uh, pre-flight of the external part of an airplane. All right, so as we always begin, we refer to the checklist. And as I go through the checklist, I'll walk around with the airplane and show you all the key points so we go. Now, first thing I do is when I come up to the airplane is I just look at the general condition. I, I see I've got some plugs in, I've got the pedal tube cover on, and I look to see if the tires are, are good, see if there's any issue of any kind of damage that could have been done. So right now everything looks good. Next thing I do on the checklist is go ahead and remove all of the different kinds of plugs. We have these plugs in here so no varmints get in there and also uh, protects it. We over here we look at the pedal tube cover. Remove that also. And I'll just put this aside here for a moment. The reason you want to remove those plugs is people have taken off those plugs in, and uh, it's not a good idea. All right, now, first thing it does is I want to check internally to make sure that I've got a good battery. So I turn the power on, and I'm going to turn some of the lights on. So you can do this in, in any order, but the bottom line is I want to be able to make sure that everything's working. Now I turn the heat on for the pedal tube. You got to watch it when it, it can get real hot real fast. So just want to make sure that the heat is on. I'm just going to make a quick run around to make sure that the lights are working over here. You can see that the red light is always on the left wing as we discussed before in ground school. And then I want to make sure that the tail light is on. Good. Make sure the right wing light is green and it's on the right side is working. And flashing is the beacon. And then come over here. This is something we may or may not have covered in ground school, but this is the uh, stall warning. If you can hear, just make sure that it's working. That'll tell us if the, just what we discussed, the molecules go over the top and they go over the bottom. When they start peeling off, that means the airplane is getting close to a stall. All right, so everything looks pretty good. What I'll do now is make sure that I've got fuel indication and I've got good power. On the checklist now, we've got to check the fuel. So what I do is remove the cap. This is what it looks like. And you always put the cap lever down in line with the slipstream of the wind going over the wind. Let's put it back in. And down. All right, I've already dipsticked it, and to be able to confirm there was fuel in it. And then I'll just go over to the other side. Remember, the fuel is always in the wings, not as part of the fuselage of this aircraft. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a full pre flight after we've done those preliminary checks. So I'm going to look in the cockpit now and check a few things as we go forward. Okay, now that I'm in the cockpit, on the checklist, you just want to check a few things. One, I'll turn the battery on, and this is a glass cockpit. So we wait for the left, what we call the uh, PFD, to come up. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll bring up the right side, and this is what we call the MFD. Now, all these indications cover what we covered in, the, in ground school, the six pack. Here we have the altimeter. We have the airspeed indicator, we have the heading indicator, we have the artificial horizon, we got a vertical speed indicator, it's on the side, we got the slip where you press on the ball, it's a little different on this airplane. And then what I want to make sure is that everything's up and it's showing me good fuel, 
Right now there's more fuel in the right tank than there is in the left tank, as a case in point. And generally, just looking in general, there's no problems. Make sure the fuel is out of the off position here, okay? And the flaps are up, and we're good to go. Now we begin to walk around. We always want to check the leading edge, make sure there's no damage, uh, nothing peeled off. We've already checked the lights. We already checked the pedal tube and make sure it's, un it's not unplugged up in any way. We want to make sure that everything on this side, no damage. These are the ailerons. And what we want to do is make sure there's nothing obstructing them. If you look carefully over here, there's a um, screw and a nut, and it actually has a red piece of paint. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that the nut and the bolt are aligned with the red paint, so that makes sure that's good. Now here's the flaps, and what I'll do now is I'll just bring the flaps down. Again, I want to make sure that all the bolts are secure. And if you look again at any of these bolts right here, you can see the red paint for both the bolt and the screw. All right, everything looks good and secure here. Good, good, good here. And here's where we change, change the main gear. I want to make sure there's no leaks, there's no um, the, the tire pressure is good. Now I can do that just like a tire on your car. I've already done that. This is a good pressure. Here's the pressure indication right now. It should be 43 PSI. And I want to make sure that there's a wire inside on the right and make sure that that is part of the brake pad is uh, solid and good. All right, everything looks good here. Now we walk around this being the fuselage. Now we're moving to the empennage. Make sure the antennas are good. Here's a, our VHF antennas. Our GPS antennas are on top. This here is all looking good. No damage. The leading edge of the horizontal stabilator, and this time it's the complete elevator. You can see this is one complete piece. So this horizontal stabilator is the elevator as we go forward. These things are uh, static electricity discharges. When you're going through clouds, a lot of times you'll pick up uh, static charges and it helps to dissipate that and not have it kind of uh, be attractive to like a lightning strike and hopefully this will be preventing that. We talked a little bit in class about the trim tab. This is the trim tab, so it actually takes the pressure. So if I have the trim tab selected correctly, I can almost take my hands off of the uh, yoke and it'll maintain the position, usually in level flight, and be able to, where I'm not fighting it all the time and trying to keep it. There's also a rudder trim tab here on this one. So here's our rudder, and here's our elevator. I'm looking for good connections here, making sure there's nothing obstructing it, make sure it moves freely, and there's no wiggle at all on the horizontal stabilizer. I'm going to check this, I've got that covered. All right, going on this way again, you want to make sure there's no damage on the bottom. Make sure the antennas are all secure and there's no damage. Looking at the, now the flaps on the right side, same thing I want to do is make sure there's no obstructions. Screws are all good in. Ailerons again are not causing any obstruction and free moving. Got some static discharges here too. Nice leading edge. Go from here. Uh, we already checked the uh, stall warning communication. Good. Again, looking at the main tire. To make sure that inflation's good. There's no leaks. Good security. And there's a wire back here for the brake pad that we want to check. No good there. All right, here is a static port, okay? There's one on both sides, and we'll see the other one. But again, you want to have nothing obscuring that. Remember, this is important for the airspeed, the altimeter, and the vertical speed indicator. Remember, the pitot tube is the only one that is used for the airspeed indicator, but the static ports are used for 
all three of those pedostatic instruments. Here is where I check the oil, just like in your car. What you do is you pull it on up. The oil change was just done, so the oil is very clear, but I can see where I've got my proper amount of uh, oil at about the uh, six gallon rate for this airplane. All right, and again. Now this is where you have to be careful. We're gonna make sure that everything's off. We always say don't go near the prop, but on a pre-flight you have to make sure that it's not dinged in any way. All right. If there are cuts in it, we have to have that fixed before we go. Make sure the intake, of course the engine is cooled by air and oil, but uh, here is where you wanna make sure all the air intakes part of the engine are fine. Here's where we check the nose gear. Again, make sure that the tire pressure is good. Make sure that there's no leaks. There's no, any kind of indication that's good. You wanna make sure that uh, we have everything clear and there's nothing obstructing that as we go forward. All right, most important thing after you finish all of this, before you start, is to pull the chocks. The chocks will be in right until the very end and you go around to both sides and make sure that they're clear. Sometimes you'll have ground handlers that can help you. So we want to make sure that the shocks are removed. And you're ready to go.